Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tamil, and I'm back with another Canva tutorial. All right, so in today's video, I wanna show you how to insert gradient photos or images inside of text. Now, I create a lot of different, you know, graphic designs right here inside of Canva for my business. And just when I thought I knew a lot, you know, there's always more to be learned. And so recently I found something that I didn't even know Canva had. So I was playing around a little bit and I wanted to just find something, you know, awesome to design. And I wanna show you exactly what I came across. So let's go right over here to Elements and I'm gonna go down here to where it says frames. Now guys, frames are really, really awesome. They are exactly what they are, frames. You can insert anything you want inside of a frame. I mean, you can insert your picture inside of a phone, like right here, or a TV. And they're all kind of different images. Some are obscure images that just, you know, don't look like they're a good image, but once you insert a photo or some sort of image, it really, really looks nice. So they've got so many different things that you can use for frames and I'm just scrolling and scrolling and look what I come across. I come across letters and honestly, I do a lot in Canva, but believe it or not, I did not know that Canva had letters. I guess I did, you know, look at every single inch of the site and plus there's always more to learn. So guys, I came across these letters and I thought it would be awesome to create some sort of text with gradient effect. So that's what I wanna show you guys today, exactly how you can insert gradient image inside of text. Now you can create any type of text that you want. And so what I'm gonna do first guys is I'm just gonna start off by changing the background to this right here. I do not like working on a white background, especially if the images that I have are white or have some sort of white in it it really looks washed out so I'm going to change this first um, to a different color so let me go and see what I can change it to I'm gonna use no let's try oh that looks good so I'm gonna try this color right here that blue looks awesome and after that I'm going to now go back so that I can choose some text so now that we're right here in frames Honestly, it's just a matter of you choosing, you know, the type of text that you want. So I'm going to just choose some letters here and you can tell me if you can make out exactly what they are. I'm gonna use these letters right here and I'm going to space them out so that you can see exactly how this is going to look. So as I space this out, you can tell me exactly what this is. Just gonna move this over here and move this one over here. So this is kind of scrambled. If you can figure out what this says, it says just that happy because I'm happy that I am creating this Canva tutorial for you guys. All right, so now that we have these letters in place, it's just a matter of adding the type of gradient that you want. And right here on Canva, you can search pretty much anything. So if you go over to photos over here to the left, you can go up to the top where it says search and you can type in just about anything. You can type in, you know, different pictures, different designs, whatever. So whatever it is you're thinking, you can type. So when I click on here, you can type gradient. And as you can see, actually already, I have it right here because I use a lot of different gradients all the time. So I'm always searching for new ones. And so when you land over here on gradients, you can probably even pick something that matches your brand color. So you can keep scrolling and this would probably go for days. You know, one thing that I like about gradients is the contrast. So you can go from having, you know, dark to light and light to dark. So I see something that I like and I think I'm gonna try this rainbow right here. So I'm going to just going to click on this and all you have to do guys is just like, just drag it over to, to the letter. Now what'll happen is if you don't do it correctly is you'll end up with something like this and you don't want that. So you wanna make sure that you actually hover over the letter itself. So now that I'm hovered over the letter, I'll let go and this is what I have. And so I think I'm gonna just try a different color one at that. 
I'm going to try this one next to it, see how this one looks. I'm going to put this over the A just to see how that one looks. And I think I'm going to stagger it by going back and forth. And this is really easy. This is as hard as it gets. It's not that difficult. You can just play around with this. You can add different colors. I'm going to add this one right here to the other P so that it looks like that. And then I'm going to drop one more over the Y. I'm going to drag it all the way over here to the end. You can see it flickering right there. And as soon as I get it over, then I'm going to let it go. So that's as difficult as it gets. And you can choose from whatever you want. All you have to do pretty much is just drag and drop. And you're going to end up with something that has a gradient effect. Now, this one right here that I have, it looks a little bit pink here. And then you see just a tad bit of white. But if I wanted to change it, I can grab this one right here and just do the same thing. Make sure that I'm hovered over the letter. I actually like that one even better. And I can pull this one over here over the P. Then I'm going to grab this one to go over the Y. And you can change these up, guys, to whatever you want. So this is how you add a gradient to text. And since Canva has this text that are in frames, you can add, you know, whatever you want to it. So I like this. It actually, you know, goes together quite nice. The colors are great and you can create whatever type of image that you want. So I'm always creating images for my YouTube channel, such as thumbnails. And so I know I'll easily be able to, to use these with no problem. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you are using these letters to design inside of Canva and if you have used any type of gradients or whatever image that you use, you know, let me know down in the comment section below. So guys, um, I'm always creating videos here um, weekly, Canva tutorials, teaching you guys uh, some of the things that I know about Canva and things that I'm actually using inside of my business. So if you want to get more videos, you know, tutorials just like this, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos. But also I've got more tutorials so you can go and check out more of the videos that I have here on my channel for Canva and uh, let me know down in the comment section if they're really helpful for you. Like I said, I really, really like these gradients right here. And you know, if you wanna catch more videos on gradients guys and learn a little bit more about gradients, then I actually created a video on gradients. Uh, you may find it on my channel. It's called adding a fade effect to a photo. So if you wanna check that out, that's gonna teach you a little bit more about gradients as well. All right, guys, so um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel and come back here so that you will catch more Canva tutorials just like this. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.